I will make this very brief. Yolanda just would like to thank the Hall of Fame committee, and she also would like to say that she's honored and grateful to receive such a, to receive the award and to be a part of one of the most prestigious universities in the world. So, um, I just wanted to say um, two quick stories about Yolanda. Yolanda was the most difficult and hardest athlete I ever recruited. She lived right down the street. She went to Miami Southridge. And uh, for you that know the recruiting rules, you can't start um, speaking to a recruit until July 1st of their going into their senior year. Well, I didn't sign her till like July 15th going into her freshman year of college. It took a little over 12 months to get her convinced to come down the street to go to school. So obviously I must not be a great recruiter, but, <laughs> um, but she did come and she ended up being one of the most, she's probably one of the most dedicated and one of the most, um, proud hurricanes that I've ever had the privilege to coach. She's a very fierce competitor, and she's one of, she had this, one of the best work ethics I've ever, um, in my career, been able to have the good fortune of being around. She was just, she uh, raised the level of everyone around her just because she expected um, the most out of herself and also out of them. But she's, um, just one more quick story. She, her senior year at the Big East Championships, after the preliminary round, she ran three races, the 100, the 100 hurdles, and the 400. She gets on the bus, and we're getting ready to go back to the hotel to get ready for the finals the following day. She comes up and sits beside me on the bus. It wasn't, what do we have to do? What do I have to do so we can win tomorrow? And that's just the type of athlete and a type of student that Yolanda was. Thank you very much. Thank you.